Kia ora tata. I'm Sam Haggard, National Secretary here at the Council of Trade Unions to Kamahi. And we've had a fantastic day today, really unpicking what a just transition means for working people. It's really important to me that unions are driving this debate in New Zealand uh, because we want to make sure that the interests of workers are really clear in this process and in particular that they have a seat at the table and can start to define what a just transition will mean for workers. So we're factoring in things like uh, income security and income support, uh, the need for retraining and redeployment, the need for economic diversification to make sure our regions have a really strong plan to replace some of the industries which we know are eventually going to need to get into go as legacy industries. Kia ora, I'm Susanna Bailey, an organiser at the PSA, and I help support the emerging PSA Eco Network. So um, we're at the first conference of its kind in New Zealand, the Just Transitions Roundtable, which is put on by the CTU and ITUC. What we're doing is bringing together people from the union movement and from the en environmental movements to discuss how we can move to a low emissions economy while supporting workers through that transition. Hi, I'm Sam Smith from the International Trade Union Confederation and I run the Just Transition Centre there, which is all about helping unions and their allies to get plans for Just Transition. Just Transition is based on having the collective voice of working people at the table helping to design the plans that will affect them and their jobs. So unions have to be at the table, unions bring their experience of the work that they're doing, how that could change in order to bring down emissions. They also bring their knowledge about what their community needs, what their economies need, what the companies where they work need in order to, uh, in order to bring down emissions and also to improve productivity and create better jobs. Kia ora koutou, ko Amanda Larson toko ingoa, ke Greenpeace aho e mahiana, uh, he kai hapai aho. My name is Amanda Larson, I'm a campaigner for Greenpeace here in Aotearoa, New Zealand, um, and I am also a very proud member of the PSA Union. I think that there is a very strong connection between the movement for workers' rights and the movement for protecting the natural world. I think it's really critical for organizations like Greenpeace to be part of this conversation because we recognize that um, responding to climate change requires certain industries, polluting industries, to be dismantled. But we also acknowledge that transforming these industries will have severe impacts on the people who work in them and the communities that are dependent on them. And it is absolutely not okay for those people to be left, left behind. Um, so it's really important, I think, for Greenpeace to to hear the perspective of the union movement, which represents working people, um, and to be part of these conversations about how we can um, work together in this common cause um, to both create a society that um, works within the boundaries of the planet, but also provides an opportunity for um, safer, more secure, and better jobs for working people. Hey, I'm David, a senior campaigner at WWF New Zealand. A just transition is going to be crucial as we come to grips with the challenges and the opportunities of getting to a net zero emissions economy. We need to make sure we bring everyone, working people of all kinds, along with us as we change to a clean energy economy. It's crucial then that unions are part of the climate change conversation because they represent people who are affected by the impacts of climate change and by the changes that we are making to deal with climate change. So if you're interested in this work and, the, and um, in supporting work on other environmental issues in your workplace, please join the PSA Eco Network. There's a lot of work we need to be doing. We can't do it on our own, so we necessarily have to work uh, with business, with iwi and Māori, with community organisations and civil society organisations. So it's quite a full-on task we've got ahead of ourselves, but we absolutely have to do it, um, because if we're not, as unions, um, clearly articulating how workers can be supported through change, then no one's going to do it. So that job falls on us. You can be part of this too, so I really appreciate the involvement of union members across the country in these debates, and, and do come to our future events and online discussions as we try and chart this course out. Kia ora.